What's up, Hacksters? Welcome to MCU Monday. We have an exciting new board for you. This is the Teensy 4.1. It's just come out from Paul Stoffergen and Co. Uh, so this board, compared to the Teensy 4.0, it's basically the same board, but upgraded with all the IO and memory that you wouldn't be able to fit on this little guy. Uh, there's a couple of little ports, uh, soldering spots rather, for memory chips. And there's more about that on the TNC 4.1 page that we'll look at in a second. One of the most obvious new features is this SD card slot for micro SD cards. It's gorgeous. Uh, I'm really excited about this one. It's gonna be really low latency for use. And, um, you have your usual reset button. The chip on here is the same. It's an NXP I.MX 1060 or RT 1062, and it is an ARM Cortex M7 at uh, 600 megahertz, I think. So it's really low latency for lots of audio applications. Plus, it's got a ton more GPIO pins, and it's very breadboard friendly. So where you can just look at the number of breadboard friendly pins on this one versus this one and you can see that it has a lot more to offer so let's take a look at the website so here we have the pjrc store pjrc.com slash store slash teensy41.html um you get a close-up of the board you get the whole pin out here and it's pretty incredible so we have um pictures showing how to connect the ethernet up uh, as i mentioned it has this ethernet physical layer that is a first for the uh teensy boards and there is an osh park project where you can download this adapter but they're also planning to release it as a kit um one of the other cool new things about this board is that it has uh, USB host capability. So whereas the Teensy 4.0, already you were able to connect uh, devices to it as a USB host. Uh, now it has the power management uh, available so that you can just do that on the fly. Uh, so they have a picture here showing how you can connect up a keyboard to it. You can connect MIDI musical instruments to it, a mouse, other stuff. Um, I think joysticks and things, anything that you have over USB, you'll now be able to plug it directly into your Teensy. Uh, I think the the sound nerds among us will be especially excited about this. Besides the fact that the low latency enables lots of other things. So for example, one suggested use for, uh, for this is ArtNet based LED projects. So this will be able to run really large scale LED projects. Um, in fact, they've already run some benchmarks showing um, just testing the speed over ethernet and uh, the speed of the chip. So these are not necessarily tests that include actually running an, a real life project. So, uh, you know, your mileage may vary as always, but um, they're pretty confident about the speed of this new board. It's very cool. Uh, and it has low latency compared to some dedicated mini PCs and things like that. You can check out the pin or the, the chip specs here. You've got five pins with power management for USB, as we mentioned, that 100 megabit physical layer, the micro SD socket. You've got 35 PWM pins, which is outrageous. You've got 18 analog inputs, eight serial ports. That's one up from the TNC4. Um, eight megabytes of flash memory. You've got uh, two chips for QSPY memory. That's if you choose to add those on. You already have a bunch of memory. I think it's one megabit, uh, one megabyte of RAM already built into the chip. Um, and then if you need extra, you can add those two extra chips for I think PS RAM you suggested and flash memory, whatever you need, you can add it. Let's make sure that my screen share is working because I get paranoid. Yes, great. Um, what else have we got? Checks notes. Um, SD card socket, USB host port. Oh yeah, um, other suggestions for using that ethernet physical layer, which has IEEE 1588 precision packet timestamping. <laughs> so um, your application should be very robust and able to deal with um, you know, timing. Uh, Artnet LED project, streaming audio, open sound control. So. Open Sound Controller OSC is something that various devices may use. I've used it with the Muse Brainwave detecting headset to control things uh, with my friend Mohib. 
Uh, there's more information here that I've linked below about the built-in i.mx RT1062 chip. Uh, you can check out all the specs on that. And then there were a couple more things that he mentioned in email that uh, aren't quite on this page, but just more info about what kinds of applications this is good for. Um, I'll let you stare at the pinout while I look at that. Um, Paul says, the microcontroller on TNC 4.0 and 1 has one meg of RAM built in. For many real-time control projects, the internal RAM is plenty, but some projects can greatly benefit from the added memory. Frame buffers for high-resolution TFT displays are the most common use, so little screens. Um, thin film transistor LCD screens, I think, uh, allowing advanced graphics rendering. Large memory is also very useful for special audio effects, like advanced reverb, buffering fast incoming data before logging to an SD card, and for emulation of retro computer systems like classic arcade games. Uh, who doesn't love those? And there was one more thing. Um, I guess Paul's own summary of this board is that not every project requires so much I.O. or extra memory. TNC 4.0 fills those needs. But um, when you do need more I.O., more memory, fast Ethernet, or connecting USB devices, or fast SD card access, the larger four, TNC 4.1 brings this extra I.O. capability to a platform designed for real-time use with fast 600 megahertz M7 performance. So yeah. Uh, as you can see, it is a little bit larger than the t previous TNZ 4.0. Uh, we've got this little guy. This is the 4.0. This is the 4.1. You know, this one's a little bit bigger, but it's still teensy. Like, look at this compared to an Arduino Uno or whatever. The Uno would be like, yay big, say. It's still teensy. Uh, this one is flat on, oh, no, it's not flat on the bottom. It's got some surface mount components down here, actually. Um, you can see all the details, of course, in the close-up photos on the TNC 4.1 product page, linked below. Um, Mangash says, how are you getting shipments in lockdown? Well, the mail is still working here, and we just quarantined things in the garage for three days so that they don't have anything left on them. <laughs> Jay says, you can never have enough PWM pins. Thanks, Jay. Uh, love your new cool goggles. Everyone go check out Odd Jay on Instagram and Twitter. He's doing some amazing stuff with animatronic uh, face mounted goggles. And uh, he's blowing up. It's so cool. Um, Xavier says, great content as usual. Thank you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> uh, yeah, really excited about this one. Um, a lot of the pins that were available just on the bottom of this board as uh, solderable pads are now actually broken out as GPIO pins. And that's just really exciting. So go check out the TNC 4.1. Uh, you can order it today. Congrats, Paul, on the next launch. And uh, yeah, as always, hack on. <laughs>